Prior to the 1970s, there was very little investigation carried out regarding the underlying causes of common respiratory diseases like asthma and very few standardized diagnostic criteria. The scientists and clinicians who started the Firestone saw an opportunity to improve the diagnosis and management of respiratory diseases. In the late 70s, McMaster University and what was then St. Joseph's Hospital took a novel approach, embedding research into a clinical setting. The hope was to encourage collaboration between clinicians managing the diseases and the scientists investigating the causes diagnosis and treatment. That was the start of the Firestone, headed by Dr. Michael Newhouse. Hamilton was an ideal place to establish the Firestone, since nothing of the kind existed in what was by then a city looking to develop a new medical school. Hamilton's reputation as a steel town made the location even more appropriate, since it was becoming increasingly evident one of the major causes of COPD was smoking and air pollution. The Firestone reputation grew from the start with the unique contributions from people like Mike Newhouse, Freddie Hargreave, Jerry Dolovich and Norman Jones, along with the leadership in the university from Warren Campbell. My background um, as a PhD trainee uh, was in medical biophysics and there we developed imaging tools to evaluate um, and better assess lung disease and my motivation to come to a centre like the Firestone was really to apply these tools and see if we could actually use them to change patient outcomes. A great example of the collaborative work is the Aero Chamber. It was an answer to a real problem. Patients with asthma had trouble using inhalers effectively they couldn't properly inhale the aerosol spray. It was Newhouse and his team that invented the valve aerosol reservoir device, the aero chamber, that's now used worldwide. The Firestone Research Group were among the very first to carry out research in lung ventilation and perfusion using radioactive isotopes and the scintillation camera. The earliest studies to validate measuring airway responsiveness in asthma were developed by Freddie Hargreave along with methods to evaluate inflammation in the airways using induced sputum. The six-minute walk test and the asthma control questionnaire are now used worldwide in the evaluation of airway diseases. We have a much improved understanding of the relationship between phenotype and genotype of asthma thanks to the work of many Firestone colleagues, including Drs. Hargrave, Nair and O'Byrne. Arguably, the most important research was carried out by Freddie Hargrave in developing the methacholine challenge test, now used worldwide in asthma diagnosis. So what's unique about the Firestone is really that in one institute we have uh, multiple international leaders in pulmonary medicine and by coupling uh, that clinical expertise with novel imaging technology that we're developing, we really have the opportunity to develop the world's first translational pulmonary imaging centre. The future looks very bright for the Firestone Institute. There are a number of extremely skilled and talented young clinicians and scientists who are committed to our mission to improve lung health.